Hello guys, I'm Mona Prince and wishing you a very happy new year. This is my best films of 2021 video which I've been doing for the last three years now. And this time it did get delayed because so much was happening at the end of December. I always do this before the new year. But anyways, it's here. And in this list, I include all the movies I have watched throughout the year from every industry, not any particular one, even Hollywood films. If you're watching this for the first time, I don't rank them. I think that's just too long and impossible to do. But I divide them in three levels. Level three, level two, and level one. Level three is for the films, you know, which are good. I like them. You know, the idea was there, the ambition was there, but I had a lot of issues also. But still, it's a good watch and I could recommend it. Level two is for the films which are really, really good films. I liked them a lot but either I had some minor issues with it or either the film didn't have that big of impact on me that I would put it in level 1. And level 1 is for the films which I really really enjoyed throughout. These are the films that as whole work for me. They even have issues, I am not denying that. But I still feel these are the best films of the year. And I would first recommend these movies if anyone asks from 2021. And I have to give the disclaimer, this is my opinions, what I like, what I didn't like, how I am feeling right now. And according to that, I made this list. So if you don't agree to it, it's totally fine. You don't have to. But you can definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Now, hopefully, unlike the Malayalam list, I don't forget any films. This list includes 66 films. And of course, I have seen more in the year, but there are many which I don't think deserve to be here. Or that I would never recommend them to anyone. Also, there are many films I couldn't watch in the year like the Kannada movie GGBB, Tamil movie Rocky and definitely there are many which I don't even know about but whenever I watch them I'll update it in the comments. Most of the movies I'm talking about I've reviewed them individually so if you want to know my in-depth thoughts you can check them out I have a separate playlist for them. So without any delay let's start with the list. Just remember all the films are listed in alphabetical order. The order is not ranking them. So let's start first level 3. The first film is 83 playing in cinemas right now. Definitely if you're a cricket fan it is a must watch. You will feel emotional. You will get to know about what happened in 83, how India won the World Cup and what were the circumstances around it. Second is Bell Bottom. I remember when the trailer came out, no one was talking about it that much. And this was the first, you know, Hindi film that came out in theatres. When I got to watch it on Amazon Prime, I actually liked it. It had that feel of, you know, baby as well as Special 26, you know. It was a mix of both because it's a period piece. Not the best film, but still, it's a good watch. Next is Chandigarh Kare Ashuki, watched in theatres. I think it will be coming on Netflix. From Aishman Kurana's genre with the social message and I think it's a must must watch. Definitely they did Bollywoodize it a bit but I think that's necessary to sell the film and it reaches to more people. So in that sense it did its job. Next is Cinema Bandi available on Netflix, an indie movie produced by Rajan DK. I like the innocence in the movie but other than that it didn't stick out that much for me but definitely you can check it out. Next is Marvel Studios Eternals coming to Disney for Hot Star on the 12th Jan. Not the best movie by Marvel, I think it should have been a series because the story is so vast. It feels rushed a lot and at many moments it doesn't really work for me. Which is very surprising because you know the director Chloe Zhao and Oscar winner and her last movie Nomadland was amazing. But I guess that didn't translate well into this you know Marvel Cinematic Universe. Next is Haseen Dilruba which came on Netflix, a big Tapsi fan. But this one really missed it mark for me. I felt they could have you know really dived more into the pulpiness of it and they didn't give their 100% but definitely a good watch. Next is the Kannada movie hero watched in the beginning of the year. Very much a Tarantino style film. Very funny, very quirky. Definitely I felt it went for too long. They would have cut it down. And the climax and ending was very underwhelming. Next is the Malayalam film Home. Watched it with family and it was a fun, fun experience. Definitely a good family watch. It works more as an emotion but as a film, you know, there are a lot of shortcomings. Next is Jagame Thandiram. I think Netflix just hyped the film a lot and that didn't you know translate it well when we watched it definitely not a disaster it is a watchable film and you can even enjoy it some moments but it's just too long it drags and the ending is underwhelming next is Jai Bheem I know I have my own thoughts about the film but definitely it's a must watch film by everyone the things it's talking about it's very real and highlights an issue that one community goes through a lot and it should be recommended to everyone next is the Telugu super hit Jati Ratnalu again I was not a big fan of the film really enjoyed watching it but filmmaking files I just had too many issues with it next is Karnan again until the interval I was just loving this film but after that it just you know falls apart for me it just misses the mark but certainly it's a good watch and I would recommend it next is KKK Kanakam Kamini Kalam really fun film enjoyed the comedy I know a lot of Malayalis didn't like it that much but I would kind of recommend it next is Kurup available on Netflix again I had high hopes but the film doesn't deliver it's a well-made film you can definitely watch it but for me I felt the second half was 
just very lazy. Next is Kuruti, again a must watch, talking about the you know climate around the country right now. I love that how they molded into a home invasion, but I had a lot of issues and that's why it's in level 3. Next is Love and Monsters, a very surprising film. I'm not into monster films that much, but this was so heartwarming film. It has that human connection and you feel for it. And what the film is trying to say is never been said through a monster film. So I think that was really clever. Next is Pixar's Luca, a Pixar movie, you have to check it out. Really fun, got me emotional also. But other than that, it didn't have that big of impact on me. Next is Manada, the time loop movie. As I said in my review also, the concept, the way it's done, outstanding. But the commercial compulsion just brings it down for me. But you should definitely check it out. Next is Madhuram, really heart-touching film, but I had some issues with it. Next is Marakar. There are a lot of issues. The film could have been so much better, but it isn't. But just to know about the story and what happened in that period and, you know, some of the visuals the film shows, I think people can check it. Out. Next is No Time to Die, the last movie in Daniel Craig's James Bond films. And I did binge watch on all of them to you know just to watch this one because it had Rami Malik, but I was disappointed. But overall, as a James Bond last movie, it did well and I think one of the best in the series. Next is surprisingly Spider-Man No Way Home. I know as a fan, I absolutely adore the film. It's outstanding. The writing is really good. The second time I watched it, you know, I liked it a lot. A lot of issues I had got solved and it could have moved to level two, but uh, just the competition this year, I had to put it in level three. Next is Operation Java, a really, really well-made film, beautifully shot. I really like the segments throughout, but doesn't really work as a film for me. It should have been a series and there were some minor things here and there. Next is Paglet. I think what stands out in this film is the performances. It's a well-made film, but you know, here and there, the Bollywoodify things are happening. But the theme and the way the story is told, it's really good and you can check it out. Next is Red Notice, a very ridiculous film. Uh, you know, total popcorn entertainer, no-brainer film. And it's actually crappy at moments, but you know, it's just fun. It's just a fun experience and even my parents watched it and they enjoyed it. So I would say if you're free and have time, you can definitely check it out. Next is Sandeep or Pinky Farrar. Really enjoyed this film, very well made. The film plays with you, talks about the toxic masculinity, talks about the class difference but i think it's the performances that you know just not there i think better actors could have elevated the film and that's why it's in level three next is sarah's Again, a very important film coming from Malayalam cinema. It raises a very important point about abortion and whose decision it is. I definitely felt it was very straightforward and that's why not that big of an impact, but definitely a must watch for today's generation. Next is Marvel Studios Shang-Chi. Again, really enjoyed watching it in theaters. But when I watched it again at home, you know, I found it to be really slow and sometimes very disinteresting. It was like just first time charm and later it does not have that same rewatchability and that's why it's in level three. Next is the animated film, The Michels was is the machines came out on netflix very fun watch with family you can definitely enjoy it but again didn't have that big impact next is think lasha nishyam a very surprising film very well made but i had a lot of issues with it too but it's a really good watch next is thirike watched at the beginning of the year it's on me stream again a very heartwarming film between brothers and really touch your heart but apart from that nothing really stands out. The last one is Titan. Watch it in theaters and oh my god, what an experience. Oh, it was just, at some moments I had to close my eyes, but I tried my best. I don't know where it's available, where you can find it. You can always ask your friend for it, but I don't know if it's a film for everyone. Just know that. All right, let's come to level two. The first film is Arakariam. Really well-made film with outstanding performances. It's very much a Malayalam chill, but there's a thriller angle also in it, but the mood never changes and I just love that. It could have been in level one also but i just feel you know it doesn't have that same impact on me as the other films in level one so and i had to be strict this time that's why it's in level two next is biryani a haunting film a very haunting film i don't know if everyone can watch it it's an indie film and there were some technical issues so i had to put it down in level two next is the indian animated film bombay rose by gitanjali rao very beautiful the storytelling is awesome in it but i wish the animation was more impactful next is churuli the most awaited film by technically outstanding it just you know blows your mind the plot is very confusing at moments it's just very deep and it's very open ending whatever you want to believe it it can be that definitely not a film for everyone and i think that's kind of a reason i think i put it in level two next is the tamil film doctor a dark comedy very well done really really enjoyed it in theaters 
they were the commercial compulsions that brings it down that's it next is trisham 2 again what a film just to recreate what we experienced with trisham 1 outstanding there are some shortcomings but a fun watch next is dune awesome film crafted so well and there will be sequels also coming but definitely as a film it feels incompleted and if you don't know about this world building it doesn't really impact that much next is free guy really really enjoyed it it was very very fun experience but that's it next is kane kane amazing performances very different family drama with you know a message at the end about humans and the mistakes they make there were some minor shortcomings but a very well made film next is kala with tobino thomas very well made film the metaphors are amazing but it just becomes too overindulgent at moments next is madati an unfairy tale a very hard hitting film it should be a must watch but not available very openly next is malik with amazing performances technically brilliant a little longish it is supposed to be an epic saga but at some moments i just had some relatability issues and that's why it's in level 2 next is the tamil film mandela a very well done satire a must watch for everyone there were some minor issues but yogi babu was amazing next is master came out at the beginning of the year loved watching it both vijay and vijay sethupati against each other very well done again there was the commercial compulsion but apart from that a good watch next is vinal murli now i have seen it twice now a very well made homegrown superhero film but there are some minor issues apart from the vfx and everything next is very innocent marathi movie photo prem you should definitely check it out on amazon it even goes existential that's what i like about it and definitely show it to your parents next is again a marathi movie picasso a film talking about art and artist and what is important in life just happens in one day but there was a minor shortcomings next is pieces of a woman very internal story the film has a 30 minutes one take at the beginning and so well done and i think more than the film the performance stands out next is ritka scale 7.6 a very indie movie but really really well made and very fascinating ideas in it next is sher shah a very well made war movie a very well made biopic and it really touches your heart with a very sensible filmmaking next is sunny as i said before it's a very therapy kind of film based off covid and the pandemic with great performance by jay surya next is the courier starring benedict cumberbatch based around the cold war and i was expecting it to be you know very similar to other cold war films but this was really surprising because at the end of the day it was more about the friendship between two humans and which was very well explored next is the green knight i still don't know what's the meaning behind the film but it's just a crazy crazy film and its experience i don't think any other film can give you so if you want that definitely check it out and finally we are at level 1 and the first movie is joji an amazing amazing film by fat pasad dilesh potan sam puskaran and a must watch of this year next is kadasila biryani my favorite tamil film of the year very different very innovative happens within a day and it has that style of you know tarantino as well as ljb so you can check it out next is milestone or meal patthar again a very internal story about a truck driver in delhi the film just absorbs you the way it has shown the life of this guy they've captured it so well and you feel like you are experiencing it yourself next is nayat a very hard hitting film by martin prakat with great performances great story telling and amazing visuals next is sardar uttam by sudeep sarkar starring vicky kaushal one of the best performances of the year the storytelling is the hero in the film it's aesthetically beautiful and i think it's the best biopic ever made next is sarpatta parambarai amazing boxing film from tamil really really enjoyed it watched it again with family and had the same experience next is sherni from a director of newton the way it captures everything you know the forest department the politics the humans the animals and the nuances in it outstanding next is spencer watch it in theaters oh my god what an experience kristen stewart i am in love with you it's just an outstanding film it is short beautifully the story is so good and overall an outstanding film next is the great indian kitchen i said enough about it one of the best films of the decade i am telling you the second last is the disciple the marathi movie by chaitanya tamane same director of the court and it's a must watch outstanding film and i wish we had sent this to the oscars and the last one is tick tick boom starring andrew garfield i didn't even know about this guy this musician i've never heard of his music but this film came to me hugged me tightly and never let me go i'm going to watch this film again and again so guys that was the list i'm tired right now that was a long one do let me know your thoughts in the comments below and again wishing you a very happy new year through channel membership you can support this channel and help me continue this journey ahead and in turn you get various perks to know more click on the join button for more information check out the community page so guys thank you for watching if you like this the thumbs up button share this video let me know comments your thoughts if you are subscribed yet check out the videos if you like them too to subscribing and i'll see you next time